Hey, Vanilla! Vanilla, you wanna try- no! Alright, bye. Hey guys, what's up? This is Garmin, and today welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase. So today we're gonna be doing the capsule mod. Now, if you don't know what the capsule mod is, you know those little capsules that, um... Well, not the medicine, but you know those capsules in Dragon Ball that allow you to, you know, that they have the, where they can, you know, they press a button, and then they, poof, stuff comes out, whether it's a vehicle, it could be a building, or food. Yeah, th those are the type of capsules I'm talking about. So, for anyone that's playing Dragon Block C right now, or is he- BUG! Shut up! If you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Block C, the mod for Minecraft, then this mod will be definitely something that you'll be interested in. So, without further ado, let's get into it because there's not really that much to really cover. It's a pretty simple mod. So, capsule mod. It, if you don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z, you put capsules in stuff, you press the button, and they go poof, and then stuff comes out when it goes poof, and then boom. But yeah. So the one thing you're going to need to know how to make right off the bat is first how to make a capsule. Well, these are what they look like. They look exactly how they would in the show and in Dragon Block. And they look great. Look at that. It's a capsule. You can even spin it around too. In order to make a capsule, you're going to need three iron ingots, uh, one, um, I almost said eye vendor, Jesus, one ender pearl and one button and you get yourself a capsule. Now, while you do have a capsule and it'd be really easy to just, you know, like click and then boom and then capture it. You also want to make sure you want to make this, which is they call a capture base. Now a capture base, what this is used for is simply sort of like a little connector or controller for the capsule, you know. It gives it an idea of what it's trying to take, pretty much. So, I actually have a good example downstairs, which Vanilla happily pl placed for me. Okay. I'll show you what that is in a bit. But, in order to make a capture base, you're gonna need um, six cobblestone, one compass in the middle, one glass paint up top, and finally a torch on the bottom middle and then you get yourself the capture base. Now, what I'm gonna do for today is not only showcase off obviously obviously the capsule mod, but also try to see the limits of the capsule mod because I haven't really tested this out yet. So I got some things down down there I wanna test out. And if there's something that I forgot to test or if I didn't test out yet, make sure to just test it out yourself or L, let me know in the comment section down below if you test it out, if you can take an ender portal with you or anything like that, let me know. But anyways, or is it end portal? Ender and it doesn't matter. Same thing. Anyways, so the the uh, two more things I want to go over real quick is the two different tiers of uh, capsules that you can get, and then two other ones which I'll show off and then explain in a bit. But two other tiers you can get and that are craftable are the gold capsule, which I'm gonna call it, and the diamond capsule. Now the gold capsule, obviously, all you need to do is replace the iron ingots, the two iron ingots on the side with just gold ingots, and for the diamond one, you need two diamonds to replace the gold ingots. Now these are um, these are a bit different from the from well normal capsules because that there's a there's a certain size to them pretty much. So the first one, <laughs> well, size matters of course. So uh, I'm sorry. So the first capsule um, right now it only gets it only gets to take one block. So if you have a chest that you want to take with you, let's say I have a chest here and. I put it up top here, right, 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 right. And let's say I wanna, I wanna, I wanna shove some stuff in this, right. So let's say I wanna put a capture base in there, and some capsules, right. But you know, you can't, you don't wanna, you know, just break this chest. And if you don't have the inventory space to take it with you, what you simply do is you put a capture base underneath it, and then you right-click the capsule, and then now it says activate it. And even if you switch out of it, it'll still show you what's there. But it, of course, there's a little time thingy in case you don't wanna use it. So you just wait a bit if you, in case you accidentally press it. So now. If I right-click this, and if I right-click it again, oh crap! If I right-click it, goddamn! If I right-click it again, there we go. Now I have the chest. And so now, what I'll do is, um, oh, it says right now unlabeled capsule. And the cool thing about this is, is if you hold shift, is it shift? Yeah. If you sneak or hold shift and right-click, you can then name your capsules. I'm gonna call this chest because there's a chest in here. Obviously, I mean, you're dumb. Anyways, so now you, so now that you've done the most important part, which is naming your capsule. Uh, now you gotta do the next important part, which is right-clicking, and then you just right-click again. I wish it did the little smoke effect, but yeah, now you have the chest, and is, is the stuff in there? Let's see. Yeah, it is. So yeah, there you go. So now that you know, the chest does work, and of course, um, you can actually um, take it back, which I think it's like, right-click? There you go. So you just right-click to get it back. Uh, let, me let me throw this again. So it's like, boom, and then open it. Wait, where's the... 
Oh, there it is. Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. And then you just right-click to grab it back. How far can I be this? Uh, I just want to actually check. check bleh, chest. Uh, how far do I actually have to be? Let me see. If I throw it outside here. So if I could, like, chuck it. I pretty much have to be, like, I have to, of course, like, grab it afterwards. But then, can I just, like, be over here and, like, take it? Oh, my God. How far can I go? If I can go at the top of the tree and, like, grab this. Oh, my God. That's cool. All right. So, yeah. And the cool thing about these, um, of course, is you actually are able to uh, config them, which means, uh, I don't know why I say, like, config, config. Uh, you can configure them to um, actually have hold more than just um, what they initially hold. So, of course, the one block one, which uh, would normally hold only one block, you can configure that to probably, like, have it, like, the gold status, which gold status, obviously, is way bigger, as you can see with the radius, and then diamond's, like, the hugest. Now, the last two capsules I want to go over are the ones that you actually... You actually can find most of these capsules in dungeons already. The only thing is the difference... Oh, the camera's not on. I'm making sure. <laughs> I thought the webcam was on again. I messed up the recording. But uh, the cool thing about these is that you actually could find capsules in dungeons. And they'll actually have their own stuff in them, which you can actually um, use for, like, you know, survival and such. So, like, some will have armor in them. Some will have, uh, like, houses in them, which is crazy. You know, just a lot of cool stuff. Now... Now, that's pretty much it when it comes to the uh, the capsule mod. Uh, there's nothing much it. There's not really anything, actually. So, of course, there's the one that just... Uh, I think this one deploys... Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, there's one that deploys, like, instantly. There's there's uh, three. I, oh, there's three. I know there's two. Oh, my God. I'm out of it today. All right, so anyways. So, of course, there's the regular one, which is the one by one by one, which is the one we have. There's the uh, recovery empty capsule, which I believe this one breaks after the first usage. So, this is, like... Yeah, so the capsule will be destroyed after deployment. This is the, this is the one that you'll normally find in dungeons where it'll just, you know, have armor or houses and such. And then there's the empty capsule, which is overpowered, which I don't really know what this one does. I haven't, like, it just, I don't know why it's considered overpowered. I, I mean, I thought overpowered would be like, hey, you can, like, capture any amount of blocks in just this one capsule. But I guess, I guess I'm wrong. But anyways, so... What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna do a test. I wanna capture this water. Did it work? Give me, give me the, give me! Give, are you, okay, there you go, so let's see. So now that I got the capsule, what does this do? Overpowered, let's throw this. Oh my goodness! Oh, I didn't, oh my god, that's the one thing I actually wanted in Minecraft. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea how to help people make like, the Minecraft maps with just like one water block like being stationary and like not flowing and stuff and spewing all over the place. This is the perfect way. Oh my god, you can trap you can trap liquids. And it works too. Oh wait, wait, can I trap everything in the like okay, so now now here's the big test. I wanna see if I can trap everything in here. So here we go. Diamond. Chuck that shit. There we go. Okay, so now now that I got the diamond one, let's see if I actually God Go away. Let me see. Where can I? I'm just gonna chuck it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it randomly here. See what happens. <laughs> Can't merge with destination. The blo a block is preventing from deploy. Well, now it's burnt. Oh wait. Oh wait. What? Hold up. I'm about to copy this real quick. Let me just see if this burns in lava. Okay, it does. Okay, I was gonna say that that'd be completely breaking everything. But anyways, let me just let me just throw it somewhere here. So pop. It takes the it takes the liquid. Oh my god, that's actually revolutionary. I didn't want to test this out during normally when I look at mods and stuff, which yes, I do test them out and do research. But I didn't want to test it out and I, I wanted to be surprised. But I'm now I'm surprised that I now 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 that I know that you could take liquids with you whenever you go. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Can I take a end portal or a the uh, end portal? Yeah, and uh, nether portal. I get those mixed up. End portal and nether portal. I'm pretty sure okay, you know what? No, this will decide it all. If you could take the nether portal with you, then you could take the end portal for sure. There we go. And so now this should be, yeah, this is, this is, well, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, this is, this may not work. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Must be odd number. So, nine. There we go. Fulfill my desires game. Fulfill my legacy. All right, so now this should be nine blocks. It's not, though. Why? But why? Wait, shut up. Shut up, game. Let me... Let me do my thing here. Wait, is it working? I can't tell. Oh, God. Why is it... I fucking like that. 
Did I not save it? Oh, here we go. Nine by nine. Okay, yeah, so... Holy shit, this is huge. Okay, here we go. So, throw. Okay. If this works. If this works, this is the best... This is the best mod ever. This is actually one of, like... This is up there with, honestly, somewhere next... Not next to, but in the range of Academy Craft. If you could... Please do it. Please do it right. Oh my god! Up! Oh! Oh, oh my god! It works! And, and guess what? You can take it back with you! This this is the best. This is the fucking greatest thing ever. <laughs> this is the best. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. So, mod maker, congratulations for making probably one of the most innovative and greatest homages to Dragon Ball in the history. This this is actually one of the best mods ever. It's it's a capsule you can take with you. You can take a portal with you and water source and lava and whatever liquid. Well, what what other things? I, I think that's the only thing I can think of. I'm sure the way it works the same for redstone stuff as well, but... Oh my god. Hey, Vanilla! Vanilla, you wanna try- no! Alright, bye. So with that being said, yes, these capsules can also have loot in dungeons in case you cannot find capsules, but they'll be breakable and such. And not only that, these capsules alone, the iron, the gold, and the diamond, are able to take in probably the coolest and make it very creative ways to transport things from now on. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this mod. If you did, make sure to like, comment down below what you think. Again, this was a short mod showcase, but it was worth the while because... <sighs> capsules. But other than that, make sure to download the mod in the description down below if you haven't already. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!